Welcome to PoePolitikin.com, your number one source for hip-hop without the politics. PoePolitikin is your MTV raps, meets Reading Rainbow, meets Dr. Phil, or something like that. Follow PoePolitikin on all social media, at PoePolitikin. That's at P-O-P-O-L-I-T-I-C-K-I-N. PoePolitikin.com. This tune West Side, you know, coming from the West Side of Chicago. I'm on Pope Politic right now, chopping it up with the homie. You know how that goes. So, everybody tune in, check it out, see what's going on. Real interesting interview. Shout out to my mans, bro. One. Family on the beat. On the beat as far as hustling go, I'm spitting knowledge. West side wicked with the words that shit you spit is garbage. West side's flying down 290 trying to make a killer. West side's trying to make a million. On the beat as far as hustling go, I'm spitting knowledge. West side wicked with the words that shit you spit is garbage. West side's flying down 290 trying to make a killer. West side's trying to make a million. Uh, Shorty was trapping out of halves, I had to turn them whole. Yeah. But it ain't nothing like copping that 448. No. Shorty gon' look up a couple years and Shorty gon' be straight. Uh, Shorty trying to move this music like product through different states. Gang. You know a gangsta always man is business. I got the smokers tear my line up. Get it for my time's up. This shit ain't forever. No. Illegal drugs, niggas lie. Niggas play, niggas die. In the city, getting hot. Cool. Pick up work and I'm moving. Now watch me run through it. Four ways, 550, nigga, no less. No. A nigga trying to smoke and have no stress. Uh, Hope I complete my mission. Vegas back to back selling weed, you niggas bitch. Pillow in a fair gum with shoebox. A nigga like me rather play the traffic on do blocks. No. And I'm just riding around my city trying to stay connected. Flip flops with the Nike suit. All I know is check it on the beat as far as hustling go, I'm spitting knowledge. West side wicked with the words, that shit you spit is garbage. West side's flying down 290 trying to make a killer. West side's trying to make a million. On the beat as far as hustling go, I'm spitting knowledge. West side wicked with the words, that shit you spit is garbage. West side's flying down 290 trying to make a killer. West side's trying to make a million. Welcome back to PolPolitikin.com. You're at home for self-help meets hip-hop. Make sure you go on Spotify, Google Play, Apple Music, type in PolPolitikin. Listen to some of our interviews for the past 11 years. One, two, one, two, I'm place to be with Toon Westside. How you doing, bro? I'm good. How you doing? How you doing, bro? I'm good. Why they call you Toon Westside? Well, I'm from the west side of Chicago, bro. Toon, it was just, it, it's a street name, you know, so I just put the two together. And I just recently started calling myself Tune Westside, you know, because it's easier to separate on the artist pages on, you know, the distribution site. So like Apple Music and all that, because just Westside is kind of mixed up with a couple people pages. So I call myself Tune Westside now. Right. And talk about your background. Let us know um, how long you've been involved with music. Oh yeah, bro. I, uh, like I said, I'm from the West Side of Chicago. I'm 24. I've been doing music for the past few years, bro, and uh. My first video I dropped, official video, was November 2018. First tape I dropped was called Hoodie Season, January 1st, 2000, uh, 2018. Yeah, 2018. That was the tape I dropped, the first one. So, yeah, everything, I've been doing music for a little minute, bro. And I got six tapes out now. The sixth one just dropped today. Three up two. Uh, that's everywhere, Dead Pills iTunes, everything, bro. So, yeah. You say you dropped six tapes, but you only been out, what, like a year? Yeah, I got six tapes out, bro. So how yeah, you so, recording so fast? Oh, because you just got to, I'm always in the studio. I'm either, <clears throat> to be honest with you, I'm either hustling or I'm in the studio, bro. It's between me and you, you know, and the fans. I'm either handling my business or I'm in the studio. I'm either doing one of the two. I'm always in the studio. Or I got another tape, Quiet as kept coming next month, bro. So it's just all about the content and the work, in my opinion. What made you wanna? Uh, what made you wanna do this? As a, uh, what made you wanna do this? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, and with what I do, you feel me? It's like I couldn't really. I found myself digressing more than progressing. You feel me? With the lifestyle that I was living at that point, so it was like you know I 
I had to find something that I was great at that I could succeed in, you know, and I found music and I'm, I'm great at that. You know, so that's what really got me off into it because I found I was starting to see more of a digression in my life than progression of what I was doing. You know? Man, what is hip hop to you? Man, man, hip hop is everything to me. You know, I, something I've been listening to since I was a youngin, bro. My moms, my aunt, my uncles. Hip hop is a lot to me, bro. That's all I listen to. That's why I make so much hip hop music. And who are some of your influences? Currency, for one. Mm-hmm. It's my favorite artist. Currency, Nas, Jay Z. You know, them are probably my three favorite artists right there. Yeah. Nas and Ross. Yeah, Currency was actually like one of the first big names I interviewed back in the day. Oh, I peeped, my boy. I peeped. <laughs> Definitely. Congratulations on that one, bro. For real. And then who are some of your favorite uh, albums? Growing up, growing up, I listened to so much music growing up, bro. One of my favorite albums had to be, man, there's so many, bro. There's so many albums, but one of my favorite ones had to be It Was Written, and that's still one of my favorite albums to this day. Mm. Now, once you talk about your style as an artist and what do you feel makes you unique? What what do I feel makes me unique? Yeah, like talk about your style and say what makes you unique. Well, you know, I really, I speak, all my music is, you know, biographical. You know, it's just about my own, my real life. I speak about the hustle. I speak about, you know, the everyday, the ins and outs, the everyday life, the ups and downs, you know. Uh, what remind me, what I can say, like, kind of like Nip, Nipsey, bro, like the marathon. That's what it reminds me of, you know, like just talking about the ups and downs and the hustle that you got to go through. You feel me, like, and yeah, man. Now, say what? What would you say your story is, like, when you talk about your music? Man, I say my story is a young dude who out here, who, who who's out just trying to make it, bro. Use his money to use his money to work for him and not against him, and just the person who out here on his own, really trying to make it. You know, as far as music, I do everything myself. You know, I, as far as studio funds, all that, I'm. Everything is my own bridge, you know, videos, mixtapes. So I would say it's just a young dude just out here hustling, bro, trying to make stuff work for itself, trying to put his pieces together. Yeah, I say music is really sounds good, too, because uh, I checked it out. Man, it's tight. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it so much. Thank you. All right, so just run, talk about some of those uh, mixtapes you came out with. Uh, just give us the names of them where they can check them out at. All right, so all of the everything is on Debt Piff. Major distribution as well, iTunes, Spotify. Uh, I have an audio Mac channel. Uh, let me let you in on that right quick. Let me show you, tell you the name of that. SoundCloud, Tune Westside. Audio Mac is Tune Westside as well. And my first mixtape I dropped was Hoodie Season, you know. And I wasn't like, a, a lot of people like Hoodie Season, bro. But my favorite tape that I have that I dropped to date got to be this re-up two that I just put out and one called Soprano Music that I put out not too long ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can find everything, like I say, on all the distribution sites, like SoundCloud, iTunes, Debt Piff, Spotify, Tidal. Everything that I got is everywhere. And then what do you think, is, what we say is next for your career? What are you working on? Man, what's next? I say I'm going to just keep putting out music and videos, bro. Keep putting out music and visuals and just making sure I connect with people. Cause it's about the people at the end of the day, you know. You gotta, you gotta make your music reach the people. So I'm just gonna keep connecting with people and, man, just doing what I do and make it work for me, you know. Then I want you to give us an interesting fact about you. People might might not know. Man, uh, interesting fact. Let me think. Oh well. I got a tongue ring. You feel me? I got a tongue piercing. That's an interesting fact. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? That's an interesting fact. I got a tongue piercing. I had a tongue piercing. So I was about 17, 18. I'm 24 now. So what made so, you get a tongue ring? Shit, bro. Just being young, I always wanted one. You know, I always wanted one. So I just I went and grabbed it. I was in college at the time, too. You don't be getting stuck on nothing? Nah. You was in college when you were 17? Yeah. I graduated high school at 17. I went to NIU at 17. I had, you, yeah, bro, it, I had a lot going on at, at that time, like, as far as school and all that. Did you already graduate college? No, nah, I didn't graduate college. I graduated high school. I did some, I did a few years in college. Uh, I played baseball, bro. That was my main sport coming up, really, another interesting fact. I played baseball from 
the time I was seven, six or seven, until I graduated high school. Never missed a season. What position? I started off at left field, but I ended up my I ended up playing first base. I went from left field to catcher to first base. I played first base probably eighth grade till I graduated high school. So what happened? Why you in the league? Uh, that was one of my dreams as as a youngin until high school, bro. Until damn near college, but you know, just outstanding factors. I was at a school where no excuses, but the coaches wasn't really, you know, trying to invest too much time in the the players that into other players, you know, new players. They weren't really interested in the ones that they had, you know. So. Yeah, and I even quite as kept. I switched colleges, bro, in hopes of playing baseball, too. It just didn't work out. Yeah, because they be making money. You see them baseball checks. They be like, yeah, yeah, it's real, bro. It's real. <laughs> it's so real. you a Cubs or a White Sox fan? White Sox. Bro, I'm a Chicago fan, but I definitely roll with the Sox. Why, why you pick the Sox over there? I've been watching them for years, bro, and it's like the Cubs, they can't get it together. They They hadn't been able to get it together for years, man, like years. Year when they win the World Series, what was it? Not too long ago, like yeah, yeah, a few years back before that, they kept losing, bro. And it was just I lost interest in watching the Cubs, but I always had support. Are you a Frank Thomas fan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. come on now, <laughs> come on now. Bo Jackson, Bo Jackson, that yeah, he's straight, he's straight. I'm more of a Frank Thomas fan just because you know he played for the White Sox. Like right, Bo Jackson, Bo Jackson, straight too, though, Jay. I ain't gonna lie to you. All right. I want you to name three in uh, three things you can't live without. Three things I can't live without. I say family. I say seeing the water, bro, because I really like to see water, like nature. But I like water, you know, like off Lake Shore. I really like to go kick it by the water. Uh, so I say fam, water, and. Just a peace of mind, bro, because when your mind running, you go crazy. Like, I definitely love my peace of mind. I love my sense of peace, bro, definitely. Yeah, I would say you uh, you sound all calm in the interview, but you look scary on your videos, man. <laughs> I get that. It's crazy. I be getting that, bro. I, I'm just a real cool dude, bro. That's just me. You feel me? I, I rap about what I live, bro. Like, I can't do nothing else. You know, I can only be me in my videos and on the interviews, you know. I can only be myself, shit, you know, so I just try to do what I got to do and just keep people up to date up with me. Like, yeah, I'm a cool dude. You know, I ain't, I ain't so scary. <laughs> you feel me? All right. So what would you like to say to your fans and supporters? Thank you. I like to say thank you. I like to say appreciate it. And I definitely came a long way since hoodie season. Like, I went from hoodie season and having hardly no reactions to I got people when I just dropped the re-up too hitting me like, man, I can't wait for you to drop your tape. I'm really fucking with you. Like, I just want to say thank you, bro. Like, that means a lot. You know, having started from flat zero, like everybody starts that, but just seeing the organic growth is real dope, bro. I just want to say thank you to all of them. It means a whole lot, a whole lot. Man, what do you see a, a career five years from now? Five? I'm not going to lie to you. I think about that all the time, five and ten. I see me everywhere in about five years bro i see me everywhere i see me making a lot of money bro and it's not just about the music i want to use you feel me the music to open up other doors as far as entrepreneurship because i'm really entrepreneur at heart bro like i really like making and flipping money so i really want to use this to open up other doors for me you feel me what kind but of i love rap what music so i always want to rap too what way did you be trying to make money i'm sorry what ways you like to make money? Cause you said you like business. So what kind of business you like to do? Like, I mean, when I, you know, when I get into the legal business aspect, you know, I want to definitely, I want to do a few things, bro. But as of right now, you feel me? I can't necessarily, you know, say on the interview how you know be specific businesses, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't really, you know, get out like that, but. I can tell you, I'll be doing my thing. And then anybody just not hearing about you through this interview, just let them know why they should go check you out and go follow you. Check me out, bro, because why I'm not, I'm not, I'm the voice out here of the street, period. As far as where I'm at, out west, you know, there's people in the south side messing with me. 
other, you know, other places and all that, bro. And I really spit what's going on out here, what I'm going through. I ain't, I'm not with the mumble rap, you know, and everything, like I say, is biographical, bro. Like, it's all from my standpoint, my point of view. You'll never get nothing fake from me. Everything is authentic. That's why, you feel me, I work real hard at this. And I just want to make sure everything I lay down on these tracks, bar for bar, is authentic. You feel me? Nothing fake in my raps. You know, so if you like real raw music, man, come check it out. Come fuck with me. What's up? I want to say uh, thanks for coming through Power Ticket with me. Man, thank you, bro. Thanks for even having me on here, bro. Yeah, like, no doubt. Appreciate you, man. If you need, if you, man, you need anything, just reach out, bro. Yeah, no doubt. I would say, uh, you got any shout outs? You want to tell me your social media? Oh, yeah, definitely. Follow me on the gram. Follow me on Instagram, T O O N underscore Westside. Tune underscore Westside. Follow me on Twitter, underscore Cold Summer. You feel me? C O L D S U M M E R. Put an underscore first. And yeah, man, those are the two. You can follow me on those two. Even though that I'm nice with the word, I still serve you no hesitation. I'm not a roster, but still I smoke like I'm Jamaican. I'm parked up on Central, rolling up in the bus a move. And I'm always in the studio cause I'm not handy with Pro Tools yet. With this trap and I'm sick as a motherfucker, make them a new language. You know all you do is big cap, you don't never tell the truth. In the street smoking in a coop, need a new plug with new numbers. Good numbers, shit I wanna hear. West side's heart is never fixed, just a couple bitches in my ear. Yeah. Trying to keep up, link yeah. up Just cause I roll a stink up go. Got the Hennessy, so drink uh-huh. up Nigga never drink the Crown Royal no. Also, I don't do the light yeah. liquor no. And a nigga hate light figures yeah. That's why I don't serve the baggies uh-huh. West side, I be really pushing weight No birthday, getting to the cake Entrepro Negro, nigga How many grams you need, uh-huh. I got it West side pull up and he park shit West side pull up and don't start yeah. shit no. Gangsta players roll, bitch He hustle, he rap, he really in the trap And he really trying to get put on the map He really work hard, no cap, no cap. I feel like Gucci Mane are so icy boy Cause my phone makes so much noise I got a hatred for police Home fucking blocks And I'm watching for vehicles Driven by the narcs Garcia, Vegas, all natural If I don't know you, nigga, I'ma tax you Cause I'm not sure, no love No, I'm on my cell phone Sending texts, rolling up Whole time, I'm ignoring your plug Cause he wanna supply the cheap he all on my phone lines trying to get me to shop on the west side, nigga. I think I'm Tony or Frank Lucas. Niggas know I'm from the west side, west side. West side, west side, west side, west side. West side, west side. West side, west side, 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 west side, west side, west side. 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 West side, west side, west side, west side, west side. West side, west side. West side, west side, west side, west side, bitch. The Poe Politic and Show is brought to you by Audible. With over 180,000 titles to choose from, Audible is great for any continuous learner wanting to grow and expand their knowledge and insight. Go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO Audio and get an audiobook of your choice free with a 30-day trial. After the trial, your paid membership will begin at $14.95 per month. With your membership, you will receive one credit every month, good for an audiobook on Audible. Cancel before your trial ends and you will not be charged. So go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO Audio and download a free book by Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Napoleon Hill, Les Brown, Damon John, and more. Always remember that knowledge is power.